We got some great news for everyone today concerning Blue Protocol. It looks as though the official Blue Protocol Twitter is back at it posting development updates. I know this isn't necessarily huge news, but I figure it is my duty, my responsibility to bring you anything and everything regarding the Blue Protocol game, right? Now, before we go any further into detail regarding Blue Protocol, whenever we get into the next closed beta or the open beta, we are going to be streaming it exclusively on our Twitch channel, not our YouTube channel. So you're probably going to want to go on over here and follow us at twitch.tv forward slash mmobite. Other than that, we have an official Blue Protocol subreddit, which is at almost 16 and a half thousand members so far. If you're not already a part of it, I recommend you go and join it because it is the largest Blue Protocol subreddit pretty much period. Now, regarding Blue Protocol itself, the official Blue Protocol Twitter made... Well, they made two different tweets and then they went ahead and retweeted two different tweets. I'm gonna go ahead and tab all four of them and we're gonna take a quick look at each one. The first one reads, deliver the latest development information. This time we will introduce a function that allows you to adjust the angle between the eyes and the eyebrows. If the eyes change, the impression of the appearance will change suddenly and the range of the character creation will definitely spread. First, start with a male type character and then they're going to go ahead and do the female character, I'm assuming. And this is pretty much, I know this, <laughs> this isn't necessarily the news you were hoping for, but they are providing additional eye, additional brow customization options or not even necessarily customization options the ability to adjust between that area of your face now concerning the female one next is a female type character the eyes and eyebrows used in the video were all the same parts but the angles have been changed with the angle adjustment function so yeah these are the same eye styles and eyebrow styles and I know I did a character creation video on blue protocol initially when we got into the closed beta what earlier this year and I noted and a lot of other people noted that the character creation was definitely limited so you know it is nice to know that they are going about adding in additional features and like I like going back and forth there are just tons of people asking for ps4 and ps5 releases see here was the okay I'm I'm gonna go ahead. I know the, the cam might have like my face and then my current face and everything. It might look a little like distorted up at the top right of the screen, but as you can tell, the customization options, at least specifically regarding the the face were, you know, they weren't bad, especially for an anime MMO, but they were definitely limited. Here are the eye options specifically. There were color options. There were a couple different styles, but overall that was pretty much it. Like you had your eye and a lot of other people would also possess that same eye. So knowing that we're going to at least have control over the eyes is probably alluding to the fact that we're also eventually going to have access to the ability at least to alter various other other parts of their face as well. And concerning the body shape, let me see if I can find that real quick. I know that there were a couple of different options. <laughs> I I, I swear I did not plan to stop at this point specifically, but there were various different uh, parts of the body that you could edit. There weren't really that many, but knowing that they have put such an emphasis on at least the eyes leads me to believe that they are going to provide more customization options overall. And then the other two tweets were pretty much just, I don't know, news coverage. Now, to me, this is a step in the right direction because I know how integral it is to allow people to highly customize their own character. I know that fashion, that transmog, that glamour, outfits in general are a very important part of pretty much every MMO. It provides a sense of originality and personality that is exclusive to you. And I am glad to see that we're going to have additional options, whether they be specifically focused on just the face or the body overall, or they're listening to the feedback of the community and they're going to introduce additional outfits outfits and other customization options down the line. This is all very, very good news. This is all very promising. And unfortunately, that is pretty much all we have to discuss regarding Blue Protocol right now, though. They seem to be pushing out updates a little bit quicker than they had initially stated that they would. They mentioned that they were going to focus more on the actual development of the game and not really connecting or communicating with their fans via Twitter. And I can happily say that I am more than okay with them going ahead and them posting regular tweets every week or every other week and covering
covering various features that they've either introduced or are currently in the process of working on. But that is pretty much it concerning Boo Protocol. Obviously, if it is not evident already, I will make sure to keep all of you guys updated with anything and everything Blue Protocol related. But as you can see, the news actually does get posted on the Blue Protocol subreddit first. That is because it is shared amongst the community before I go ahead and actually do a video on it. So you should definitely make sure to become a member there and you should totally follow us on Twitch as we don't just stream Blue Protocol or we're not going to be just streaming Blue Protocol. We stream a variety of different MMOs too. But that's pretty much the state of the game right now. That's everything we know currently. I will make sure to keep all you guys updated. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see all of you guys next time. Mm. Someday soon I'm gonna make it